Hi guys, this is the Kitchen Fairy with another recipe below for IndoRecipe.com. For today's recipe, it is a cake pasta. It is Hungarian dish uh, and it's so delicious. Um, it is with sauerkraut. If you like sauerkraut, you might want to try this recipe. Check out the full video and I'll see you soon again. Bye! Salt 1 kilogram of beef cubes. And then we're gonna coat it with enough flour. So this is about one cup. Just gonna coat them. And then we're gonna brown these beef cubes on our instant pot using the saute option with a little vegetable oil. This is one jar of sauerkraut. So we're just gonna drain it. We're gonna we are draining it and then we're gonna rinse it and then we're gonna drain it again. You want it wash out the vinegary or the brine that they use in the jar. Now we're gonna dice one large onion and we're gonna crush, chop or um, dice four garlic, maybe about five garlic, this is rather big. So just add a little oil and then we're gonna saute and brown the beef cubes. This is using instant pot. Once brown, take out the beef and then using the same pot, we're gonna add a little bit more of uh, oil and then we're gonna saute our garlic and onion. Stir in one tablespoon paprika powder and one teaspoon caraway seeds. Now pour in beef stock and add in our beef back into the pot. Now we're gonna add in our rinsed sauerkraut. Mix it. And if needed, we're gonna add in more beef broth. Just enough to cover the ingredients. Now cover the instant pot with the lid and we're gonna thicken this with sour cream later on once it's cooked for 40 minutes. Mix 3 tablespoons sour cream with 1 tablespoon all purpose flour and we're gonna drop this into our pot. Once the seke pasta is cooked, take uh, open the lid. Now we're gonna add in our mixture of sour cream and flour. Just mix in. Still boiling hot. While it's still boiling hot, you can add more sour cream when you when you serve it. For now, three tablespoons is enough. You can see the steam is still coming out like crazy. Now we're gonna add in chopped dill. You can use fresh, frozen, or dry and you can mix it now or later when you want to serve it it's up to you mix it until co properly combined now your seke pasta is ready to be served